the most pressing thing that faces so many of the people in the first congressional district is concern about a job. A job in Connecticut has become synonymous with one's health care. The nation sees more than 14,000 people a day losing health care coverage. The time has come for the nation to pass health care reform. We have been working tirelessly at this in the United States Congress. We know that it's vitally important that no longer people have to be concerned about a pre-existing condition. We know that insurance companies should no longer be able to rescind a policy once it's been issued. We know that all individuals deserve the right to be covered and have insurance. We further know that we have to drive the cost down, both for those who are currently receiving uh, insurance and have seen their costs escalate out of control. And so the goal in Congress and the goal with this legislative reform is to both help the economy by bending that curve and getting these costs under control, help uh, introducing reforms that will lower your premiums, and yet provide an opportunity, a common wheel argument uh, for the people of this country all to be reassured that they can have coverage that they need. Coverage that both emphasizes well-being and prevention. Coverage that will be capped so your out-of-cost, your out-of-cost pocket expenses can never be increased and capped in a way that the costs are capped but the benefits remain strong. Everyone in America understands that no family uh, born with an autistic child or someone who suffers from leukemia or diabetes should be excluded from coverage or worried that it will leave them bankrupt, uh, foreclose their opportunity to send another child to school, or foreclose on their home mortgage. That's what this reform is all about. And I'm proud to say that it's unique in combining the talents of everything that's good about America, the great entrepreneurial efforts of our private sector combined with the common wheel arguments of making sure that a government of the people, by the people, and for the people takes care of their people in time of illness. This will relieve the great stress that occurs in our hospitals, in the emergency room, this will provide an opportunity to create more primary care doctors and nurses so that we can also make sure that we have health care clinics and centers where we'll be able to send people for prevention. In Medicare, reducing uh, once and for all the costs and closing the donut hole for so many people uh, who have experienced that horrid uh, out-of-pocket cost in making sure when it comes to prevention there's no copay to go in and see your doctor. There's no extra added costs. We want to do the prevention and keep people well. My concern, as always, is to make sure we do the very best for all the people in the 1st Congressional District and across this great state of Connecticut and throughout the entire nation.